how is retinal laser done? This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care, Hyderabad. Retinal laser is not a surgery. It is an OP procedure and it is done using laser beams. It's just a light which is applied on your retina to create a small little burn on the retina for various reasons. First, let me show you what exactly is done. Let us look at a sample glow. Now, when a lens is applied on the cornea, it is meant to focus laser light right through the pupil onto the retina, which is the back portion of the eye. So the retina is in this portion of the eye. And when laser passes through this portion, it falls on the retina. So this is not an operation. The eye does not have to be opened. A lens has to be used to focus the rays onto the retina. And this is the lens we normally use. So this is used to touch the cornea and that's all you really feel. So an anesthetic drop is applied so that you don't even feel the lens touching your eye. And then the laser beam is passed. This is how laser is done. The procedure is like this. And uh, what is important is that uh, many patients get worried uh, thinking it's a surgery, should they really undergo this laser procedure. It's frankly quite harmless as long as it is done in a proper manner. Uh, there are very minimal side effects. Now, if laser treatment is done for diabetic retinopathy, if it is done carefully, there are actually no side effects, only benefits. However, uh, the doctor must be extremely careful to avoid the macula, which is the center of the retina. If laser is applied to the center of the retina, it will cause a laser burn on the fovea and a drop in vision. So that is extremely important and laser is applied to the periphery of the retina. The periphery of the retina is the outer portion of the retina. The central portion we normally avoid unless it's a focal laser to be done to certain microaneurysms which are leaking. So when you do to the periphery of the retina, what is happening is when you create those tiny burns on the retina and cause that photocoagulation, uh, blood gets diverted to the remaining healthy retina and uh, thereby eventually the new blood vessels which are growing in a proliferative diabetic retinopathy shrink and uh, it, this is what ultimately stabilizes the diabetic retinopathy. So laser is extremely important in diabetic retinopathy. It's a very important part of management because if you don't do this and you just go on giving injections, anti-VEGF injections also help to shrink the new vessels but uh, they act only for a certain period of time, sometimes four weeks, sometimes six weeks. And, uh, and after that, it's all back again. Whereas a laser produces a permanent burn on the retina. So laser treatment is uh, actually a permanent cure. R uh, rather, it stabilizes uh, retinopathy permanently. And it's a one-time thing. You need to do this laser only once, unless the retinopathy is so unstable that you need little more laser to be done. Now, apart from diabetic retinopathy, you can use uh, this laser treatment also to seal off tears in the retina, holes in the retina. Again, the procedure is the same, the lens applied is the same, and you, uh, you fire the laser beam onto the area which is the hole or the tear in the retina. And because you're creating a burn around the area of weakness, you are uh, blocking that area from uh, progressing or becoming worse or the tear increasing or retinal detachment happening. So laser as such is a very harmless procedure. It is an OP procedure. It does not require any care, post-operative care or anything. There are patients who feel some amount of pain, very slight pain, which goes off when you take uh, a painkiller like paracetamol. And uh, most patients don't even remember they've undergone laser. It is extremely important that the pupil is fully dilated when laser is being done. Because uh, some cases, what happens is if the laser is not um, uh, done correctly, it is possible to create some burns on the pupil, pupillary margin or the iris. That is the only issue if it is not done properly. So 
it is important to take all the necessary precautions and do the laser very, very carefully for excellent results. It causes uh, lifelong results because if you do the laser treatment on time, your vision can actually be saved.